tears in my hair They counsel me, they understand, they talk to me It's the Viper Fire Fire 67 here with another episode of Random Pay Per View. This is going to be episode 13. This is WWE No Mercy 2006. So, this was in the RBC Center in Raleigh, North, Raleigh, North Carolina, and a crowd of just dead on 9,000. This was a production of SmackDown. Not a bad pay per view. Well, it's better than Judgment Day, I can tell you that anyway. But, um, definitely one second, I'm just going to turn off the television. Um, Definitely better than Judgment Day by a country mile. Uh, some decent matches. Some matches that really surprised me too as well. So let's get on with the show. We're going to make this a long video. Uh, first match, Matt Hardy defeats Gregory Hamilton. A very, good opener. I must say, really enjoyed it. I gave it three stars. It was a good match. Both obviously guys know each other quite well. Obviously from there. Obviously both being from North Carolina and both growing up together as friends. So so a good match. A uh, nice kick from uh, Helms. Matt then went close and that sends Helms over the top rope. Matt then with a plancher, sit down powerbomb from Matt, then knee to the back of the head from Helms, gets two, Russian leg sweep, sweep from the second row, gets two for Helms, knee to the skull, gets two as well, reverse DT from Matt, and then a nice right hands from Matt, and then a clothesline, Bulldog then gets two, leg drop then from the second row, also gets two, Matt goes for twist of fate, but Helms counts into a, um, some move that I don't know, I've actually tried to look it up, but I can't, but I got two, he got two. Uh, it looks like a reverse DT. It looks like a reverse. It looks like a reverse, yeah, like a reverse type DT. Yeah, he does it again twice. So the effect then gets two for Matt. Matt does it again, gets two, and then yet again, uh, Matt goes in for a moonsault, but Helms gets the knees up. Matt gets a roll up for two. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And. Um, Shine Wizard from Helms gets two. Helms then hangs Matt balls first onto the ropes. While Matt is stuck on the ropes, Shine Wizard from the top gets only two again. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Twist of Fate then gets the win. So, a very good match. I must say, really enjoyed it. Good way to start the show. Uh, we see King Booker and Shamrill talking to Regal. He talks about the Fatal Four. He wants Regal to find uh, and talk to Finley. So, yeah. Next match then, it's for the WWE tag titles. Uh, Paul London and Brian Kedrick defeat uh, Idle Stevens and Casey James. Good match actually, I must say. I really enjoyed it. I gave it two and a half stars. I wasn't expecting... I actually completely forgot about these two, like Idle Stevens. I've never heard of them really. So I, didn't, I don't think I actually watched SmackDown much in 2006, if I'm being quite honest. Um, Hunnick and Rana from London on Stevens. Crossbody from Kedrick as two. Drop kick then from Kendrick on James. Double moon salt uh, planches from Kendrick and London. James pushes London off the top rope onto the floor thanks to McCool. Needs to the spine from James on London. That gets two. Drop kick then from Kendrick on James. And then another drop kick to Idle Stevens. Suicide dive then on Stevens from London. Superplex then from James. That gets two on Kendrick. London then with a drop kick and then a tornado DT. That gets two thanks to Michelle McCool. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, backdrop then from Stevens. That gets two. Actually attacks Michelle. Double drop kick from Kendrick. Slice spread and then a Northern Light Moonsault gets the win for Kendrick and London. So yeah, this won the match that I wasn't expecting to be quite good. I thought it was going to be quite flash if I'm being honest because I don't really know. Uh, I think Idle Stevens was actually, ironically, who he is today. Damien Sandale, would you believe? Like I saw his face and went, that's Damien Sandale. I was like, fucking hell. Like, compared to what it is eight years later, like, so, yeah, it was a good match, really good, like, like, some people, I didn't even thought it was going to be dud territory, because, like, I never heard of the two guys, but, um, yeah, pretty good match, two and a half stars, it's a shame that the, the tag team of Idle Stevens and KCJ never stayed around that much, so, uh, Regal looks for Finley, then he meets that tranny fucking Vito, jeez, that was some fucking bad character that was, Regal then does skipping, then, Vito lifts up his dress, you know, to wipe off the sweat. Regal then fall, kind of moans and then falls into a load of mustard and ketchup, which was stupid. Absolutely fucking stupid. Then we see Theodore Long, uh, Son's birthday here on SmackDown. It is The Miz. Yes, The Miz. Uh, hoorah. Crown Chant Loser. <laughs> Later comes out with lingerie, which... 
Yeah, it should look quite nice, I must say. But a the fact is, I'm not here to watch. If I want to watch that stuff, you know where to go. But um, Miss looks speechless when he wants her to, as our wish. Le Leia does a dance, basically blindfolds him. She pulls up a uh, the big fucking present that was in the middle of the ring. It was actually Big Dick Johnson. <laughs> It starts dancing on a fucking stupid segment. Like, they could have had another match or they could have added time to another match that probably needed time. But sure, look, that's just WWE for you. Oh, I was, yeah, this is, one, this is one thing that really pissed me off. MVP defeats Marty Garner in a dud. Like, MVP's, like, first match on pay per view is a fucking against a fucking jobber. Like, no, I don't mean jobber. I mean, like, proper guys that are just going to make a guy look good. This guy, oh, I was fucking shy. Like, these matches should be on SmackDown, not fucking pay-per-views. Like, I know, fair enough, JBL was just doing it as a storyline, but I say, I agree with what JBL says, it's a bull crap, basically. Um, says he's the greatest athlete of all time. I am the MVP. Crowd chants Power Ranger, which was fucking brilliant. He's even, so, oh, he's very cocky. He was very cocky. Like, just, oh, how cocky are you if JBL goes? Close line, and then, what's the name? What's the name of MVP's finishing move? Is it? fucking balling whatever it's called that gets the win who the fuck cares then we see Regal and Vito again he, Vito shows his balls Regal runs out basically naked <laughs> Teddy says you get ready for a match basically no more horseplay and all that crap technically you're not supposed to see his arse it's just the tail fell off and the WWE actually apologised which was quite funny uh, next match Mr. Kennedy Uh, Mr. Kennedy defeats The Undertaker by disqualification. It was a decent match, I must say. I don't like the way the match finished, if I'm being completely honest. But hey, what can you do? It was just stupid, really, in my opinion. I think Kennedy should have won the match clean. Or not clean, but, like, you know how I mean. Um, big boo from Taker. Taker works on the arm. Taker and Rams the arm of Kennedy uh, off the steps. Then Taker rams the arm into the ring post. Taker with a big boot to the arm uh, of Kennedy. Kennedy counters old school. Rams take her off the ropes. Take her down with old school again. Flatliner from Taker. I guess two. Um, Kennedy removes the turbuckle pad. Taker gets two off a clothesline. Taker then chokes Kennedy in the corner. Taker rams Kennedy back first into the ring post. DT from Kennedy gets two. Kennedy then with a boot to the face of Taker. That gets two. Elbow from Taker. Then a leg drop from Taker on the apron. Kennedy then with a pile driver. That gets two. My clothes shut the hell up. Which was a pile driver, not a tombstone, you fucking twit. Michael Cole, how the fuck is he still in this fucking car? Like, dude, it was not a tombstone pile driver. Jesus, Mary, and fucking Joseph. Like, what an absolute fucking twit of a commentator. God, I'd rather listen to Renee fucking. Do you know what? I'd rather listen to fucking Renee Young all the fucking day than listen to you, you twat. Oh, God. He, he botches more than fucking Batiste. Oh, God. Jesus. Taker then with a flying clothesline. Then a running clothesline in the corner from Taker. Then snake eyes and then a big boot. Leg drop then gets two for Taker. Taker for, with goes for a choke slam. Kennedy uses the ref as a shield. Swinging neck breaker gets two for Kennedy. Taker with a choke slam on Kennedy. Kennedy rams Taker into the exposed turnbuckle. Then, then a clothesline. Ken Tom Bomb gets two. Taker hits Kennedy with the US title. I guess disqualification. Think bad way to end it. What was a decent match. Taker attacks Kennedy after the match and gets the tombstone pile driver. Yeah, I was disappointed the way Taker kind of let you know, like, I wouldn't say lost the head, but I just think the way the, the DQ. But, um, pretty good match, two and a half stars. It could have been a lot better, but sure, hey, what can you do? Uh, if we get on to the next match, was. What was the next match? What was the next match? It was Rey Mysterio defeating Chavo Guerrero in a fall. Really good false count anywhere match, I must say. Um, I gave it three stars. It was short, wasn't it? Particularly long match, but I liked it. I quite liked it. I must say, uh, Ray with a drop kick. Both guys fall on over the top rope. Uh, uppercut from Chavo and Chavo Ray rams Ray into the barrier. Chavo keeps screaming at Ray about Eddie. Hunnick and Rana using the metal thing holding from the Tron that gets two for Ray Mysterio. Ray and rams Chavo into the barrier. Chavo and Ray, uh, rams Ray rib first into the barrier. Ray and Rams Chavo into the steel railing. Ray then with a leg drop using the barrier. Chavo then was hanging on the steel railing. That gets two. Head scissors from Ray. Chavo rams Ray head first into the barrier and gets two. Swinging 
him off the steel stair chairs. Uh, they fight onto the stairs by the crowd. Ray kicking Char Charo down the stairs. Ray then with a senton on Charo. A uh, camera falls over, which was funny. Charo with a beautiful clothesline. Charo Char Char rams Ray into the railings. Ray then with a 619 by using the barriers. And then Ray with a crossbody from the top of the barrier. That gets the win. So, yeah, it was pretty good. I think it was really enjoyed the match, I must say. It was pretty decent. I'll give it two stars, not three. And I meant to say two. But, um, yeah, Ray attacks Chow, but Ricky gets in the way after the match. So, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Not three stars. Two stars. But still, overall, decent pay-per-view still, though. Um, next match, then, Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit defeats William Regal in a good match, I will say. Benoit making his return. Uh, some nice mat work from both guys. Nice chops from Benoit. Uh, German suplex from Benoit. Flying hip up, then gets two. Nice knee from Regal gets two. Regal is busted open, uh, sup suplex from Regal, needs to go up and then gets two as well, cross face then gets the win for Benoit, so yeah, pretty good match, to be fair, two tough players coming out having a big fucking, better than I expected base, uh, Booker asks Regal, did you find Philly, Regal says no, Booker goes mad, Regal locks him out, cause him uses, so he locks him out, so yeah, next match then, King Booker defeats Bobby Lashley, Batista and Philly, in a, oh, in a goodish match, Fatal 4 way to retain the world title title. This match kind of disappointed me a little bit because I thought it could have been slightly, a little bit better, but sure, hey, look, it's well good. Batista and Lashley go after Booker. Uh, close line then from Finley on Batista. Spine Buster from Lashley that gets two on Booker. Booker and Finley team up on, on Lashley, ram him into the apron of the ring. Heel kick from Booker. Close line from Finley on Batista. Finley then attacks Booker. Finley then with a drop kick on Lashley. Uh, splash them from from Finley that gets two on Booker. Finley works the shoulder of Batista, then goes after Lashley's leg spinning heel kick then from Booker and Batista gets two. Uh sidewalk slam from Batista on Booker gets two as well. Lashley boots a, a chair into Finley's face. Hornswoggle goes low on Lashley. <laughs> or swap GB Michael Call called him the little bastard. Uh sh Shillady hits la well Yeah, I think Shillady hits Lashley that gets two thanks to Booker. Uh, or Charmel hits Lashley or whatever. Booker covers Lashley for two. Batista then with a jackhammer on Booker. Uh, spear from Batista gets two on Lashley. Spear then. Spine buster from Lashley on Batista. Batista's busted open now as well. Face belly from Lashley on Batista. The book in from Booker T gets two on Lashley. Batista with a spine buster. Lashley and Booker then. Um, Lashley, Booker and Finley. Batista bow and Finley. Lashley then with a spear on Batista. Booker T kind of covers. Batista basically dragged himself over. Last spot gets the win. So, yeah. So, yeah. A decent match. Wasn't anything particularly special about the match. I'll give it two and a half stars. So, yeah. And Booker T. King Booker, I should say. Gets to go to Survivor Series. So, yeah. So, yeah. Overall, the paper was pretty dance. It was pretty decent, I must say. With, like, some solid matches there. One kind of forgetful match, basically. But other than that, like, there was some good stuff on this card. Like, there was not really a... Except for the MVP match, other than that, the rest of the match were pretty solid. Like I'll give it a six and six point seven five in my opinion. Two, three, a couple of no, I'll give it a six and a half out of ten because like there's so many kind of different type of matches there. So, so yeah, so I'll be back in two weeks with another one. Um, I'm gonna be looking through um some stuff to see what which one I'm gonna do next. So, but um, so yeah, so this was the vibe of forty five sixty seven. I'll talk to you guys next week. So, take it easy, guys.